Hi there! Welcome to another installment of Table Topical on the Games We Never Play Network. We've got a plus two to our charisma, and we are ready to give you all the gaming news you can use for this week. We're your hosts, Michael Robert Holmes. And Blythe Kayla, and neither of us are mimics. We swear. Yes, I am an actual human, and absolutely not a mimic. needs more dice, right? Well, the lads at Severed Books have a Kickstarter going right now for a massive 51 millimeter D6 in the shape of the classic gelatinous cube that we all know and love. There's still several weeks to go, but they've already quadrupled their initial goal. So chances seem really, really good that this one is going to see the light of day or the torchlight of the dungeon at least. And speaking of Kickstarter, we are super excited for Troubleshooters. Published by Swedish group Helmgast, with a little bit of help from Modifius, Troubleshooters is a Euro-comic-inspired game. Think a colorful real-world adjacent world in the vein of Tintin and even a little bit of Lupin the Third. This is a very interesting genre that isn't really explored often in tabletop games, and the physical copies are styled to fit right at home on your bookshelf next to your games or your comics. Kickstarter's ending soon, so make sure you check it out. What do you get for the fashion-forward gamer who has everything? Well, look no further than the Louis Vuitton dice case. This isn't as far a stretch as you'd think coming from the designer, who among other things recently designed a fashion line based around League of Legends. As it says on the LV site, <coughs> the striking dice case combines modern materials and fluorescent color for eye-catching appeal. With its LV initial signature finish and iconic monogram flower patterns, it puts a fresh spin on the house's long heritage of innovative pieces for traditional board games. The transparent plexiglass design holds five dice and features a VVN leather handle for easy portability. Retailing at $720, uh, it is not the cheapest gaming accessory out there, but it is sure to catch eyes when it's time to roll damage. We have an update to Deadlands, Lost Colony, and Widowmaker PDFs. Now, if you purchased either of these titles from Pinnacle Entertainment for their space-themed western, then you may want to check your PDFs as an update was released that fixes some glitches regarding fear levels. We all know if there's one thing you do not want to do with your Deadlands games is mess up fear. BlizzCon is Blizz gone the way of many this year and is cancelled. In a blog post on Tuesday the 26th, Blizzard announced that the con would be cancelled due to the current health crisis. There is talk of moving this to an online venue, but nothing has been solidified at this time. When questioned, the BlizzCon event manager stated that they must construct additional pylons. If you can't get a group together, even via Zoom or Roll20, you can still have a satisfying TTRPG experience thanks to the growing number of GM-less solo games out there. We highly recommend these, but these are just the tip of the iceberg. The Wretched is a sci-fi survival horror game from the UK that puts you in the role of a lone survivor of a mission gone wrong. This one even comes with its own atmospheric soundtrack inspired by synth scores of the 80s. Iron Sworn is a dark fantasy set in an unforgiving northern European land where monsters lurk in the dark and only the foolhardy seek them out. There are a bunch of extras available to purchase, but the core PDF of the game is absolutely free to download. Heck, even Pugmire and Blades of Dark have rules for solo play, so there's a way to maintain a game in worlds you know and love, even when you can't summon the rest of the group. If any of these interest you, make sure you click the links below this video. We're going to be talking more about this game in the very near future, but we're very excited about the news coming from Hunters Entertainment about their upcoming game, Alice is Missing. Based around the disappearance of a young woman in Northern California town, the game is meant to be played in silence with characters communicating via text message. We hope to have some exclusive details for you, so make sure to watch this space. Bye. And last, but certainly not least, Games We Never Play's own GM Mace has teamed up with the Dungeon in a Box crew this month for a brand new, unique adventure and map entitled Sickeningly Beautiful. We got a sneak peek, and we can say, objectively, it's a fun, unique adventure taking an approach to magic you haven't really seen in 5e. 
or anywhere before, really. If you haven't yet subscribed to Dungeon in a Box, click the link below to join, and you can get your very own copy of Sickeningly Beautiful. That's about it for this week. Do you have any news you want to share with us? Any solo RPGs we may have missed or cool Kickstarters coming up? Hit us up on social media at GWNP underscore pod on Twitter and Instagram and games we never play on Facebook. We also have a Patreon with the donation levels as low as $1. So if you want to help us keep the torches burning, swing by patreon.com slash GWNP. Also, we are excited to announce that we have partnered with the good folks at Dice and to spread the love of gaming. As we're now an affiliate, you can use our unique link to save 10% off at checkout, so click below and get shopping. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this and all of the other Games We Never Play episodes available wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Blythe Kayla, and you can find me here or on Twitter and Instagram at BlytheKayla93 for all of my silly shenanigans. I'm Michael Holmes. You can find me on Twitter at MRH underscore 3E or on Instagram at Michael R. Holmes. Until next time, may you roll with advantage. This has been Table Topical. Well, now I gotta stop recording. <laughs>